Steve Austin versus Brock Lesnar match was pitched for WWE WrestleMania 39. The Bellas call out WWE's lack of women's evolution representation on Raw 30. And speaking of the Raw 30th anniversary, it drew the highest domestic gate in show history. Additionally, John Cena was revealed as WWE 2K23 cover star. Hey there, everyone. I'm Denise Saucedo. You're watching today's episode of The Latest. We got a couple of news stories for you here today, so let's dive right in. A match against Brock Lesnar for this year's WrestleMania was apparently pitched to Stone Cold Steve Austin. On this morning's Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer said that the match pitched to Austin was a match against Brock Lesnar. FIFO reported on Monday afternoon that a match with Roman Reigns had been pitched to Austin for this year's WrestleMania in Los Angeles. So uh, yeah. Steve Austin okay. was pitched a match. It was not Roman Reigns. Let's uh, let's get back. It was Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. It's it's not on. I mean, like something can happen now, but um, you know, I mean, it's been talked about probably for months. You know, because I know that when that that Brock Lesnar Gunther thing came up. I was told immediately that that's not happening, or that's not the idea right now. Maybe it's going to happen now. But the idea was something that's a secret. So um, Austin was that secret. Lesnar made his return to WWE on last night's Monday Night Raw, appearing during the main event between Austin Theory and Bobby Lashley for the United States title. Lesnar cost Lashley the match, reigniting their feud from last fall. Meltzer noted that it's likely both will be in the Royal Rumble match this weekend and will feud, though it isn't known if that feud will lead to a match at WrestleMania. And during an Instagram Live video on Monday night, Nikki and Brie Bella criticized WWE for its lack of women's evolution representation on Raw's 30th anniversary episode. The Bellas were initially among the legends announced for the anniversary show, but they didn't end up appearing. They were both pulled from advertising for the show late last week, with the Bellas tweeting that they wished they could have made it, but weren't available for that date. The Bellas noted that WWE promoted them for the episode before confirming. Medusa was the only women's legend who appeared on Raw last night. While speaking about the lack of women's evolution representation on Raw 30, the Bellas mentioned Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks, and Soraya Page as people who WWE doesn't want to show. Another good memory on Raw. How didn't they showcase anything from the women's evolution? But also the way we did our matches Because Sasha there. Banks did it, and they're like, we can't. And the Bellas, there's a bunch of us. And Mercedes is too over. And we and can't say her name. There's a couple mm -hmm. other girls and Ray, uh, there's a bunch of us they don't yeah. want to show. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. When you no. do what they don't want to do, it's they not don't what show you. Do. A steel cage match between Becky Lynch and Bailey was supposed to take place on Raw last night, but it turned into an angle instead where Damage Control attacked Becky Lynch and the match never got started. The match was cut for time due to the Bloodlines trial of Sami Zayn, segment going a little longer. Charlotte Flair did mention Nikki and Brie Bella last night during a promo where she named some of the opponents who she's faced during her career. And speaking of Raw 30, WWE has announced that among episodes that have taken place in the United States, last night's Raw generated the most money from ticket sales in Raw's 30-year history. The show was held at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And from yesterday's news, John Cena will be featured on the cover of WWE's next video game. WWE and 2K Sports revealed that Cena is the cover star for WWE 2K23. The official release date for the game is Friday, March 17th, 2023. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on any or all of these stories in the comments section below. Do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. And if you'd like to chat more pro wrestling with me, you can. You can hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. See you guys next time.